Sword Art Online or No Scale is a good movie. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review the Sword Art Online movie, Ordinal Scale. And this is the non-spoiler review, and I will have a spoiler review out later. But for this, non-spoiler review. So, first of all, this movie's premise is basically there is a new game or new system called Ogma, And, of course, everyone's, you know, hyped about it and everything. And everybody's kind of leaving the old virtual realities because the Ogma system takes place, or the system makes you, you know, have augmented reality, hence Ogma. So, everybody's, you know, hopping on the hype train for that, and Kirito's not too prone on it, he's just kind of like, I miss my virtual reality, guys, can we not? And everyone's like, no, we're gonna do this one, because this one takes place in the actual world and stuff, so we don't have to do a full dive. So, everyone's having fun with that, and, uh, things happen where they're not great, and I'll have to explain those in the spoiler review, because I don't want to spoil people who haven't seen the movie, but... I feel bad for you people who have not seen this movie in theaters because the whole theater experience with this movie was amazing because having the room filled with people who are ready to see something and them all being, you know, otakus with you is just a great experience because, you know, you all like laugh at the same time or, you know, you're all crying at the same time or something like that. So, yeah, but the movie overall, I was not expecting it to be as good as it was because I heard high praise for this movie. And I'm just like, well, what, what makes this so good? And then once I saw it, I was like, I get it now. This makes a lot of sense why this is good. And for instance, you know, they made Asuna a good portion of the movie was the main character. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting because Asuna is the main character. I mean, honestly, I kind of wish the whole show was like that. Um, of course, it's not, though. But um, for the good portion of the movie, she was great. I was like, dang. <laughs> because I used to say, you know, she's second best girl and Sinon's best girl. But this kind of made me go, might change my mind depending on things. But um, yeah, the, one of the problems I have in the movie is that Sinon didn't get a lot of screen time, but that's okay. The screen time she got was fine, so that's okay. Um, also, uh, Kirito taking a big back step for him because, well, basically, you know, he's a big noob when it came to the uh, Agma system because you're actually, you know, using your physical body, so he's very out of shape. Um, why everybody else is in shape, who knows? You know, maybe Asuna just does daily training. <laughs> I mean, she did fight a lot in the movie, so that makes sense. But, um, overall, like such a good movie because it's like I would want to go see it again and again and again and again <laughs> I never want to stop watching it um but honestly uh it did have its flaws which I will explain in my spoiler review because a lot of them have to deal with spoilers um of course you know everything everything has its flaws nothing is perfect but this honestly is one of the best arcs for SAO besides the SAO arc itself and GGO. So what makes it so great is that it focuses, okay, it has its moments where there's a lot of fighting. That's, those fight scenes are good, don't get me wrong, but the main focus of this movie is Asuna and Kirito's relationship. And honestly, that is something that I felt it needed to be built on a little bit more than they did in the anime, especially the second season, because we did not get a lot of that in that. And I was just like, this movie makes up for that, so that's good. Um, but the thing is that with their relationship, it it's having a few little issues that need to be addressed because honestly, um, yeah, things that I don't want to get into spoilers about, but everything's fine, so that's good. And honestly, if you just watch the SAO arc and the GGO arc and maybe the Mother's Rosario arc, you don't really need to watch anything else because this ties into all of that and it basically wraps up everything in a nice little bow because there were things that I didn't think about that they never really accomplished in the game SAO that for the final battle they address and I'm just like oh awesome because that's what makes this movie really stand out it's just that final battle is amazing and I love it <laughs> because the way it goes about which I'll explain in my spoiler review it's just like Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Um, as for the new characters they brought in, they were interesting. They were very interesting. I don't want to talk too much about them because that's for the spoiler review, but as the villains go, they weren't bad. They weren't necessarily the best villains ever, but hey, for SAO, they were not bad villains, and I 
yeah, so I, I don't want to say that because that's for the spoiler review, but um, <laughs> as for music goes, very good music. There were a few tracks I heard from like uh, the anime, so I was like, oh, it's that song. I remember that song, so that was interesting. And um, as for like, for instance, the uh, AI singer, her song, I'd wish they'd actually translated it throughout the movie because there was one point where they did put subtitles for it, which... I liked, but throughout the movie, I kind of wish they did it all the time, per se, but they didn't, which was kind of upsetting. It was like, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, as for the animation goes, absolutely stunning. It's like, you can tell, though. You can actually tell that this animation is way different from the anime because there's a point where you get flashbacks. I won't say what they are, but you get flashbacks to the anime, and you can definitely tell the difference between TV quality animation and this high budget movie quality animation. So this high budget quality movie animation is gorgeous and I wish it would be incorporated into the TV series because it would be really great. It's just like, can you please? But they probably won't because again, TV versus movie quality of animation is very different because they have a higher budget for this movie. So there's that. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. And let's see, what else is there to talk about this movie that is not spoiler related? Because I'm so tempted to just talk about, because a lot of the movie, you could say, and then spoil a lot, because a lot of it, you know, because uh, especially if you haven't seen the movie, it's like, spoiler! <laughs> here, 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 here! But that's for the spoiler review. So, overall, there's not much else to say that isn't spoiler ish per se but there is a lot of funny moments throughout this movie i have to say um for instance the whole running joke with asuna wanting uh kirito to meet her mom that was pretty funny and there's like a point where kirito like punched a vending machine and then um it's like oh do you want to drink or something because he was talking to Sinon or something it was really funny and there's a lot of other funny moments throughout the movie which i was glad to see because it's like a lot there was not a lot of comedy in the second season there was not a lot of funny moments that i can remember also another weird thing about this movie is that Klein got a lot of screen time, and that's weird. <laughs> like, that's super weird for that character to get a lot of screen time, and I was just like, well, all right then. <laughs> um, yeah, because honestly, Klein is like my least favorite character, but I mean, the screen time he got made me actually kind of like him as a character just a little bit. I was like, well, all right, that's all right, cool. Um, but again, you know, <laughs> also there was one thing towards the, like, the very end of the movie that got me a little triggered. That also made me not like Clyde anymore. Um, because, like, after everything goes down, you know, there's a point where Clyde is talking to, uh, that one guy, and he's like, games aren't for girls, and I'm just like, I'm triggered now. <laughs> I got super triggered with that. I'm like, mm, boy. But anyway, I don't have much else to say about this movie, but overall, I'm going to give it a score of a 9. And why I won't give it a 10, well, that's for the spoiler review, but I was so close to giving it a 10, but there's a few issues that I have when I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, it probably doesn't necessarily deserve a 10, but at the same time, it kind of does, because that final battle just so good. It's so good. Um, but anyway, overall, this was a fantastic movie, and I would watch it again, and again, and again, and again. So anyway, um, I hope you all look forward to the spoiler review for those of you who've seen the movie, or if you just don't care, you know. So I will see you guys in that video later. Bye!